Contrast can be a clear signal to your audience telling them where you want them to look. In this short clip, which was recorded at a workshop in Chicago, I'll illustrate this principle and show how you can apply it to a graph using an example from my first book, Storytelling with Data. Speak for a moment about another type of clutter, the lack of contrast. It's easy to spot a hawk in a sky full of pigeons. This is an analogy that Colin Ware uses. He's written several data visualization books. And the analogy is it's easy to spot a hawk in a sky full of pigeons. However, as the variety of birds increases, that hawk becomes harder to pick out. So the more things we make different, the lesser degree to which any one of those things stands out. Or said another way, if there's one thing that is very important, let's make that the one thing that is different from the rest. Use our contrast strategically. Let's take a look at how we can use this in a graph. So in a moment, I'm going to put a graph in front of you. What I'd like you to do is just react to this graph. Shout out the first word that this graph makes you feel, all right? How do you feel about this? All right, there was a general groan in the room, and then I heard words like confused, overwhelmed, cluttered. All right, these are reactions we want to try to avoid in our audience, by the way, right? Uh, groaning, feelings of uh, overload. But let's take a step back and see what we've got going on here. So this is an example similar to what we've been talking about, where we're looking at some survey data. Here we're aggregating into weighted performance index. We don't need to worry about the specifics of what that is or how it's calculated, but just know it's a summary metric that we want to be able to compare along these different categories. Those are listed along the bottom. Selection, convenience, service, relationship, price. We have that data for our business, denoted by the blue diamond, as well as a number of our competitors, denoted by the other colored shapes. Notice how, even after I just explained every bit of this graph, it's still awful to look at. Um, this is a case that actually, even if our audience is very patient and they look at this, that we've made things pretty hard because in some cases, our business, the blue diamond, is partially obscured by other data markers, making the comparison that's probably the most important to make difficult to do. So here, we're not using our contrast strategically. Let's take a look at how we can be more thoughtful in how we do that. Here's a redesign of this graph. Here I've made a few changes. I've taken the categories that were originally along the x-axis and oriented those vertically. It gives me some more space to write those words in a big, legible fashion. I've also organized my data, starting within each category with our business in first position, in blue, the one thing that's different from the rest. I even threw another number on there so that folks would be cued that this is important. And then our other competitors in gray. This view allows me to easily make a couple of comparisons. I can easily scan across the blue categories, get a quick sense of how our business is doing across the different categories. Or within a given category, relationship, for example, I can compare the end of the blue bar to the end of the various gray bars, get a quick sense of how our business is doing relative to the competition. This is a more thoughtful use of contrast. 